What we want to do is get rid of the non-useful interference fears that get in the way of our gain. So really pay attention because I'm gonna go a little advanced mental toughness on you now. And when you get it, you will have the key to being fearless. And what I'm teaching, I taught this to kids as young as eight years old, so I know you can get it. Quick review, the overall goal here in this module is to learn how to get rid of this number one interference fear. Right? You get that. So, to begin, let's first take fear apart. And you see, there's only two kinds of fear in life. One, fear of physical harm to our body. Like me and poisonous snakes, right? Or have you ever been at the edge of a very high place like a cliff or a bridge and there's a huge drop below and then you got that fear feeling? Useful fear. That's the kind of thing that goes under this category. You know, or let's say the fear of getting burned when I put my hand into a fire. It keeps me from putting my hand into a fire. Useful, right? Good. Here's the kicker. All other fears come under a different category. All other things we are afraid of in life, all other fears is fear of feelings. There is nothing else in life to fear. Those are the only two bad things that can happen to us. One, harm to our physical body, and two, the difficult feelings, because I'm not thinking you're afraid of things like joy, excitement, and happiness, right? Now, you might say, no, Craig, I'm afraid of making mistakes. I'm afraid of blowing it and losing the game for our team. I'm afraid of what people might think about me. I'm afraid that I won't make it onto the varsity team. I'm afraid that I won't get this thing that I want. I'm afraid of disappointing my parents' team or my coach. If we were working together, I was talking to you, or in my office, I would say, well, what would happen to you if that thing you're afraid of actually occurs? For example, let's use this fear. The one I mentioned, I'm afraid of disappointing my parents' team or my coach. I'd say back on that. If that happens, and you do disappoint your parents, team, or coach, um, is somebody going to shoot you with a gun? Somebody going to beat you up? Is somebody going to take away your food, clothing, and shelter, and, and all that stuff you need for your body? No, of course not. 99% of the time, no physical harm to your body will happen for those things I mentioned. Well, what will happen when those events that you're afraid of occur? Well, the only thing that really happens is that you will feel bad. Feelings, this category here, at the end of the line, listen to this. At the end of the line to all the things we're afraid of, the stories in our mind, that we're afraid there's only physical harm or feelings. I promise you, no matter what you come up with, it always comes down to this or this. There is nothing else. Now, when I say difficult feelings, I'm talking feelings like disappointment, sad, mad, hurt, upset, angry, lonely, you know, no confidence, and, and maybe the toughest one to deal with, embarrassment. That's what you're doing fear, fear for, and that's what you're afraid of. All those difficult feelings that I mentioned. Now, if you do do a dangerously, a physically dangerous sport like gymnastics or American football, well, that's a separate thing that I, I actually deal with in my conquering injury program. Put that aside for now because 99% of the time you're only afraid of these difficult feelings I mentioned. So what if, what if you weren't afraid of those feelings? 
Well then, you would be 99% fearless and courageous. Don't you want that? You can have it. Here's how we start doing that. Go on to the next video. I'm really excited for you.